Good morning, everyone. It's Courtney with Uncorked. This week, I'm going to talk about the wine conference that I'm currently at, and of course, I'm gonna have a wine of the week. Currently, I am at a wine conference. It's the annual um, grape and wine conference. Here's my little name tag. And it's Tuesday morning. I'm currently drinking green tea. Oh, I'm in the hotel. It's a pretty nice hotel room. We're staying, um, all of us at the conference are staying at the Embassy Inn and Suites. So I have a nice little hotel room in here. Um, and I'm drinking tea this morning. But don't worry, I'll also be drinking wine later because who doesn't drink wine in the morning? I always do. Anyway, so I've learned a lot of stuff at the conference so far this weekend. I've learned about a lot of new wine laws that are coming up that are going to be really exciting. Um, hopefully they get passed. Um, but I think my favorite thing about the wine industry is that for the most part, we're not competitors. We're all in the same industry, um, all just trying to have a successful wine business and swapping ideas. So that's really my favorite thing about this conference so far. Everybody's super welcoming. Um, everybody's talking to you. What's your winery? What kind of wines do you have? Um, there's a lot of newbie wineries too. So the newbie wineries have been asking the established wineries a lot of questions. The wine industry is not very competitive and it it's really cool because we all are just one big happy family working together um, to create a better wine world, I guess. Anyway, so um, there's been a lot of speakers. We learned a lot about viticulture yesterday. Now at Schoolhouse Winery, we don't have um, a huge vineyard. We just have Concord and Niagara planted, but it is nice to know the work that it takes to grow vines the work that it takes to produce quality wine juice which then we buy so today there's going to be a viticulture track and an enology track i'm going to take the enology track uh, best practices while making wine best practices in the winery all of that stuff so really looking forward to today looking forward to <clears throat> the speakers the new people i'm going to meet and all that jazz. We'll go ahead and move on to wine of the week. I'm switching it up this week. For wine of the week, we're having a wine that is not a schoolhouse winery wine. I'm probably gonna have wines of the week from a couple other local wineries, some guests from other wineries, but this week, my wine of the week is super unique. So this is peach wine made by my grandfather, my husband's grandfather. Um, he gave us this bottle when we were there the other day and I thought, why not make it wine of the week? It's fun, it's, it's um, something different. So thanks Grandpa Buck for my bottle of wine. You are famous or something. Um, I don't think you're famous because not very many people watch my videos. Anyway, this is a peach wine. Um, this is the earliest I think I've drank on this video. It's not even eight o'clock yet, and I'm drinking peach wine. So it's kind of like drinking peach juice in the morning. Anyway, this is peach wine. I have not tried this yet. It's really aromatic. It actually is not a strong hint of peach. There's some floral, there's some honeydew melon behind it. Um, but there's also obviously peach aromas. Mm, this is really good. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. I would I would probably put this at a semi-sweet. It's not over overpowering. Obviously peach, because it's peach wine. But you do get that honeydew tone behind it. You also get a little bit of lemon behind it. It's very good. <clears throat> As always, I feel like I'm always double fisting. Tea and wine. Now that I've learned all of this awesome stuff, I have like 15 different blog ideas running through my head. So I'm super excited. Check back next week. I'll have a new wine of the week. I'll have a new topic, maybe something that I learned about while I'm at this conference. Um, anyway, we'll see you next week.